Ten years ago today, a Louisville grandmother was shot to death on her front porch as she tried to stop a robbery. Her son watched his mother die, and now he's reaching out to other people in the community affected by violence. WLKY's Marissa Alter has more. Marissa? Vicki, the 900 block of Camden Avenue was a crime scene a decade ago. Tonight, it will be the site of a candlelight vigil to remember the woman who died there, Shirley Thomas. Her son organized it to keep her spirit alive, and he's invited anyone who lost a loved one to violence. He hopes the gathering could be the start of a support group. No one would ever want to, you know, have their mother, you know, die on their arm from a, a gunshot. I wouldn't wish it. Upon my worst enemy. But that's what happened December 8, 2004, when Shirley Thomas lost her life. The case started in the rear of the house. Lieutenant Todd Kessinger was a detective at the time, and this was his case. It began as an armed robbery with 18 year old Philip Thomas, the intended target. He'd been working late that night, so when he came home, he backed his car in right here, and the two bad guys, Christian Walker and Taiwan Beaumont, they were hiding behind the garage, so when he backed his car in, they jumped out and they were robbing him at gunpoint. Uh, while they were robbing him, his girlfriend, Uda, she opened up the back door to see what was going on, and that's when one of the suspects fired a shot and hit her in the hip. Kessinger says the two suspects ran towards the front of the house. Shirley Thomas came out on the porch to see what was going on and was shot and killed, forcing her son to grow up quickly. When you're in a situation like that and you, you know, lose a parent or you know, lose somebody to homicide, uh, if you don't have a good support system, uh, a lot of things can happen. And I mean, it could turn even more tragic. Kessinger has seen that firsthand. He stayed in contact with Philip over the years. He saw him graduate college like his mother wanted and get a good job. His girlfriend at the time of the murder is now his wife. It's been nice to see how his life's turned out since. Because when, when an incident like this happens, I mean, you know, it can have. And have several different effects on somebody, especially at that age. So, you know, I'm proud of him and what he's been able to accomplish. But now, 10 years later, Philip is ready to open up about his experiences and help other people get through what he did. I'm blessed to be where I'm at now, as far as you know, with my life. Uh, yeah, my family definitely was a huge system. Uh, but you know, the thing about it is, a lot of people don't have the family that I had. The vigil starts at 7.30 tonight in the 900 block of Camden Avenue. The mayor and other community leaders are expected to be there. The two men were convicted of Shirley Thomas's murder. I'm Marissa Alter, WLKY News.